Kick it on for tomorrow night at 11. Tomorrow night at 11, an amazing scientific procedure that actually helps dogs walk again pain-free. We have the video before and after. You just won't believe. It's providing a new life for these pets. I would call it amazing science. Is your dog eligible and how does it work? Find out tomorrow night at 11 right here on Local 6. Medical procedure that is saving pets from pain and suffering with the help of their own cells. This is very cool. Before and after video of dogs struggling to walk, then moving as if they've sipped from the fountain of youth is gaining attention around the country. Mike Holfeld has been looking into this and Mike this really works, doesn't it? It, it, it really is something. The short-term effects have been remarkable. Hi, everyone. We're talking about stem cell therapy, but it's not what you think. The procedure has been offered in Central Florida only since March. Now, I visited a little dog this week that had the procedure back in July. The results are what one vet calls amazing science. Come on. Come on. Five months ago, this little shih tzu could barely move her back legs. Come here. Watch. Eight-year-old Amy's joints were crippled by arthritis, and her owner had given up hope. I couldn't see her suffering anymore, so I went to go put her to sleep, and that's when they told me about the st stem cell therapy. Amy's struggle with osteoarthritis was obvious the day doctors documented her arrival on July 13th. This is the same dog just 30 days after undergoing a procedure that actually regenerated her damaged joints and cartilage. I would call it amazing science. The science is stem cell therapy. It's not embryonic stem cells, but stem cells extracted from the animal's own fat, treated and injected into the joints. We're going to put the injection right there. We measure them at 30 days post-injection, post and they, uh, it's, it's really quite amazing. Dr. Dan Evers of Value Vet is the first Central Florida vet to offer this non-invasive procedure. Our youngest case has been 15 months. Our oldest case, 15 years. And it works. It works. The before and after cases documented by Evers and his staff offer compelling evidence that it does work. It's providing a new life for these pets that otherwise they wouldn't have. It should smooth this out and lay down a new, uh, hopefully a new surface here. Evers is part of a six hospital network that has chronicled 25 local cases with strong results. But he concedes there is an unexpected side effect. If there's a downside that I can think of, they feel, feel too good. <coughs> On Monday, we went back to see Ever's star patient. Amy's progress has been good, Here, but we noticed she was limping a bit, apparently doing too much okay. too soon. Just, Other than that, she is way. fine. It was a sad day. That day we were going to go put her to sleep, but, you know, here we are. Our, our puppy back and just a whole new dog her skin her skin isn't that incredible the procedure costs around eight hundred dollars mri studies are underway now to document cartilage growth in the knee joints of the dogs i know it sounds like sci-fi folks but it really is happening, and they mm -hmm. say seeing is believing. You saw that video, guys. It's just incredible. Well, I know you can do things like freeze stem cells. So is, it, is there a way to actually maybe store your dog cells for later in life? That's a great question. We were looking into that, and the answer is yes. The group that offers this is Value Vet. Doctors just started storing pet stem cells. When you have your dog spayed or neutered, there's an additional fee to remove the cells. The younger the dogs, the better the cells, and obviously the better the results, as you just saw. And guys, there's a screening process, too. They'll check for cancer and so forth and make sure the organs are healthy. If you pass the test, you get the procedure. Isn't is. that something? I, I need it for my right knee. I was going to say, I, I need, need it for my left <laughs> right. hip. Application We're over for here adults. trying to figure right. out how we can inject it in ourselves. All <laughs> in right. the future. In the future. All right. Thanks, Thank Michael. Thank you Story. very much, Mike. Thank you. Here's what we're working on for tomorrow on Favorite. Yeah, they do a great job. Okay, well, we broke this story last week, the incredible before and after video of pets struggling to live a normal life, treated with their own stem cells and looking like nothing was ever 
wrong. Look at that dog wagging his tail, running Horrible. around. Since the story aired, we've received hundreds of emails from you, the viewers, asking lots of questions. Will it work for my pet? Will my pet insurance cover it? Mike Coalfield has been sorting through your questions and is here with more. And Mike, I guess everybody wants to know how long is this stuff going to last? Absolutely, Guard. That's the number one question tonight. Hi, everyone. The first documented cases in the United States are still going strong three years later. Pet insurance will cover up to 80% of the cost. But the big thing to remember is this, folks. Your pet's overall health is the key to the results. You can see how she's holding up this left rear leg. These pets are candidates for a stem cell procedure that may actually help them walk again pain-free. She wasn't walking very well. This dog named Happy so suffers from arthritis. Uh, she gets her treatment are, today. Uh, it should smooth this out and lay down a new, uh, hopefully a new surface here. Dr. Dan Evers and his colleagues have been writing a new chapter in veterinary medicine. Uh, stem cells can make all the difference in the world. How does it work? They extract the pet stem cells from fat then inject them to regenerate damaged joints, tendons, and ligaments. The first improvement may not be in their mobility, but it certainly is in the pain response. These dogs are out of pain. Evers and his colleagues at Value Vet have documented cases of dogs once struggling to walk, suddenly running and playing again, just 30 days later. But he cautions, there are limitations. It's all wonderful technology, but not every animal qualifies. Ever says there are three hoops or tests your dog must pass. First, blood work. Make sure those kidneys and liver are healthy. X-rays. And finally, a cancer screening. The likely candidates are going to be those pets that are suffering from arthritis, uh, ligament or cartilage damage or tendon damage, um, as well as hip dysplasia. All right, we'll see you on the 29th at 11 o'clock. Since our story first aired last Friday, local six pet owners have been jamming the lines to book consultations. Different breeds, different size dogs all the way across the board. All asking for help. All asking for the same thing. Is my dog a candidate for the stem cell therapy? This little shih tzu named Teddy was a candidate for that therapy. His before and after moments are remarkable enough, as you can see, but there's something else no one expected. He was totally deaf before this. Really? And now he can hear certain sounds. It's, I mean, it's, it's obvious. So not only are the joints being injected, also there are ancillary side effects that stem cells can certainly get in there and, and help in a positive way. It's just remarkable, isn't it? Okay, the answer's for you now. Consultation for the pet, free. Procedure costs $1,800, and they do put together a payment plan for you. Finally, more clinical trials using MRIs to measure actual growth of cartilage in the joints are underway right now, and we're going to have a follow-up for you in December. It's just, it's just yeah. incredible, guys. It I mean, really is. Th these are amazing results. Now, what about, yeah. I know we kind of joked about it last week. What about for people? Oh, no, when you brought that up, we started looking into it. That you hear about all these great results. And you know what? There are clinical, uh, rather clinical trials underway in the United States, China, and Mexico right now. So this is something we may see in the future for people. Right now, it's helping a lot of pets. Yeah. Well, even if it just helps their pain alone, I mean, even if the cartilage isn't growing as much as they want to, that's a lot in itself. Oh, it really is. It's an anti-inflammatory effect. You can see the dogs right. are in less pain. They're moving more fluidly. It's a quality of life thing. They're happier. They're moving. That's what yeah. makes pet owners happy, and obviously the pets. I, I still can't get over the before and after pictures. It's incredible. Very yeah. compelling story, and obviously we'll continue to cover it for you. All right. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Mike. My pleasure. And